You can never really know. You can never really know. There's no such thing as truth or knowledge. It's all a matter of subjective opinion. You know, because perception is all that exists in the universe. Nothing can be sure to exist except perception. Nothing can be known about what actually occurred. Nothing can be known about how the laws of nature work. Nothing can be known about the self. Oh no, these are all just subjective opinions. Everybody's opinion is just equally as valid as everybody else's. That person's uninformed opinion is as good as this person's years of study and knowledge. And people believe it. And you know what these people are called? They're called solipsists. Solipsism is the religion they believe in. And this is a big part of the New Age movement. You constantly hear, all I know is that I know nothing. Let me tell you something. Satanists want to push this harder than anything else. And they consider it one of their sins. You look into the satanic sins. Just type that in. Solipsism is listed as one of the main satanic sins. Because they want to peddle this notion to other people as a religion. And, and propagate it. They want other people in solipsistic mindset. But they don't, they don't accept solipsism. They look at that as that's one of the greatest evils. To think that there's no such thing as truth. No, because they have to learn the truth and hoard it. And occult it from other people. From preventing them from learning it. And therefore maintaining their hegemony and control system. Of course they know that there's truth. And they want other people thinking that there is no such thing. So they, while they consider solipsism a sin for them, they want to propagate it for as many other people as they can. That's how they can keep people in control. The word solipsism comes from Latin, and it comes from the adjective solus, meaning alone, by oneself. No one else there, just you. Solus. Solitary, in other words. Okay? Soul, one. Solitary. Second part of the word, ipsi, 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 right, comes from the Latin. So you have soul and then ipsism, ipsism. Soul, ips, that's the root. And then ism is tacked on, meaning it's a belief system. All right, so the word, the ips part of solipsism comes from ipse in Latin. Ipse means the self. So alone by oneself, all alone, nobody else there, nothing but you, it's all about me. It's all about my perceptions. There's no, no such thing as anything that's objective. Anything that's objective. And the New Agers have bought into this. Oh, there's nothing outside of the self. Yeah, I get the notion what we're, what we're actually being within internally is what's creating the external reality that we experience collectively in the aggregate but don't think that means that you are creating the universe that you yourself are creating the entire reality that is being experienced by everyone because that's just a total selfish ego inflated notion that there's nothing but you and i understand the concept that we're all one but this is not what it means. It does not mean there's no, no other individuated units of consciousness having an experience here on the earth. In the physical domain, which is no different than the spiritual domain. To understand what it is and to learn and grow. No one individuated unit of consciousness is creating the shared experience. This is total nonsense. And it's called solipsism. The idea that there's no such thing as truth and that your perceptions are generating everything. And that there's nothing else that's outside of perception. There's no objective reality. This is total nonsense. Solipsism is defined as the, ide as the ideology that only one's own mind is sure to exist. Solipsists contend that knowledge of anything outside of one's own mind is unsure. Hence, there is no objective reality and nothing is known. Nothing about the external world and its workings can truly be known. Think about that. You can know nothing about the universe. You can know nothing about law that exists in the universe. You can know nothing about natural law. You can know nothing about morality. You can know nothing about the difference between right and wrong. You can know nothing about anything except whatever your perceptions happen to be at the time. I mean, the 
arrogance, the utter, the unmitigated gall and ego of anybody to believe this total ludicrousy, this total ludicrous information, this ideology that has absolutely no bearing on reality. There is nothing objective outside of your perceptions. And what you're saying is, you are God. I get to make up what everything is. I get to make up over whether anything is true or not. Doesn't make a difference what actually is. Doesn't make a difference what, what actually is occurring. There's no such thing as what is. No such thing as truth. I'm making it all up as I go along. I mean, imagine this. This totally discounts every other person. You're basically saying, I'm the only one here. You're not real. You don't matter. Well, what's that going to do about people's belief of rights or understanding of rights, I should say? It's going to throw it right out the window because, hey, you're not even real. You can't possibly have rights. There's no such thing as the difference between right and wrong because there's no such thing as truth. And if right and wrong are supposedly based in truth, they can't exist because truth doesn't exist. Therefore, you don't matter. Anything that happens to you doesn't matter. I mean, people say there's not, you know, there can't really be any such thing as solipsism. I, I tend to agree because then you believe you don't matter. You know, start doing something harmful to, to somebody who says they're a solipsist and watch how much they say you have no right to do this. Well, hey, I don't exist. There's no such thing as right and wrong. I'm unsure even to exist in your mind. It's just, it's, it's, it's infancy. This is spiritual infancy. Spiritual infancy. And ultimately, what it is, is total bullshit. <coughs> It's total bullshit, ladies and gentlemen. Anybody who believes this has been bullshitted into accepting something that's total nonsense, isn't real, is never going to be real, and it's just it's there to keep the mind in chains and shackles so you can't actually perceive what really is and learn the truth. Departing from this diseased ideology is a surefire sign of the beginnings of human maturity and true spiritual development. Solipsism is spiritual infancy. We have to understand that there is true objective reality. And that's what we have to strive to understand, to grasp the truth about what is. Regardless of how scary it may be. Regardless of how uncomfortable it may be. And regardless of how much we may not want to face that reality. Objective reality does exist. The truth can be known. Rights are inherent to creation itself and are based in truth and natural law. Those who don't know what rights are will never say no to those who attempt to take their rights away. This is the concept. If you don't know, K-N-O-W, you won't know, N-O. You won't say no.